And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. Let's wake it up. We have some valuable information for you tonight when it comes to your finances. My next guest isn't tied down to rent or a mortgage. Instead, she's living in her car, her car and van willingly. Now, it may sound strange to you, but she told me the choice has given her financial freedom as well as something priceless, her happiness, and she's not homeless. So my motivation to do this really wasn't about saving money, but it is one of the perks of living in my car and living in my van. Um, I just happened to be on YouTube scrolling, looking up something for work, and I saw somebody basically doing the same thing in a van, and I knew right away that that's what I wanted to do. And it was just like it clicked. It, it just made sense to me, and I knew that this was my calling. This is how I wanted to live my life. But saving money is definitely one of the major perks. Um, there's a lot of people in this lifestyle who can go travel for months at a time and then work for two months and then continue to travel and be on the road for a couple of, uh, for a couple of, I can't get that out. They'll work for a couple of months and then hit the road again. Mm -hmm. And that's what we call nomads here in America, right? Nomads, nomads, van life, wanderers, whatever you want to call it. But are you traveling or are you stationary where you are? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, I just went on a road cross country road trip for about two months. I started that in March. And on the weekends, I would say twice a month, I would go on like a short weekend trip. But for the most part, I am stationary, which people think is weird because they they thought that when I got into this, it was just about traveling, mm -hmm. but it wasn't. It was really just because I wanted to do this. My happiness was the drive, not the right. money. Now that must be incredible to have the ability and the freedom to travel for two months. Absolutely. Um, I went as far as I could go. I saved money for a year and a half. And I said, you know what, I'm going to hit the road. I didn't care about how much money I spent. It was all about having a good time. But it was really easy to be able to save enough money to do the things that I wanted and not have to worry about when I needed to come back or where I needed to be. It was really just about my happiness and just enjoying, enjoying the road, enjoying the experiences and meeting all the people that I've met along the way. Now, annually, how much do you think you've saved since you've uh, left your worldly trappings and moved into your vehicle and, and, and your van living that way. How much do you think annually you've saved? You know, I really don't know, but the amount of savings would vary depending on the person and how much they're working and how much they make. Um, for me, you know, I, I never really added it up, but I would say anywhere between 50 to 75000 that's that's a whole lot to save. Now, do you still work as well, or how do how do you um, I do. survive? I do. I still I work full time, um, but I do many different things. Um, I am a professional organizer, so I go to you know homes of individuals and I put their homes together. I make it organized. And, There's nothing um, more I, compact than getting everything in your car. <laughs> right. Well, if so you you're see an my expert. storage. Yeah, if you've seen my storage unit, then you, you, you'll you see that everything has a place. In my trunk, everything has a place. It makes it easier because if I'm on the road and I'm in and out, like if I need to go into my storage or my trunk and pick out an outfit or something, I can just go in, grab it, and get on back on the road and do whatever I need to do. Now, also, when you do something like this, you have to be, I would think, I would think you would have to be psychologically ready for something like this, because there would be people who would say, oh, she's homeless. She's doing really, really bad. Did you have any of that? And how did you get over not being concerned about that? Oh, well, I don't care about what people think. <laughs> we can start there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but I do get that. I do, especially with my followers. They call me homeless. Um, they call me a beggar. I have never asked anybody for anything um, on my social media. Uh, it, it, it has nothing to do with money. It's all about my happiness. It's all about my happiness.
Now, and you know, the question is, so how does she bathe? How does she eat? Mm -hmm. So bathing, I have, uh, I, I have a gym membership. So mm -hmm. I go there twice a day and I shower. People think because I'm in my car, I stink, but absolutely not. <laughs> I, <laughs> people are horrible. You know people are horrible. <laughs> no, I shower or bathe twice a day. So if I, um, the gym that I go to, there's only a few in the area. So if I'm not close enough to it, then I will go to um, a store. I have um, about five or six stores, grocery stores, Target, Walmart, that I have in rotation and I will go there and bathe because I know that they're clean and, you know, stuff like that. So for the first year, I uh, spent a, a lot of time they, going to different they, stores. You caught me off guard there. What do they allow you to bathe at Walmart or Target? They don't allow you to, but <laughs> <laughs> they can't stop me. <laughs> they might be caught off guard if they walk in and, you know, see my ass up in the air. But, you know, uh, yeah, no, I do like the whole thing. 